Hi, it's Brandy Price, and I'm here today to show you three simple at-home masks that you can make. I know right now the most important thing you can do is staying at home so we can all stay healthy, but if you do need to go to the grocery store or you do need to pick up prescriptions at the pharmacy, there are a few things that you want to make sure. First, make sure you visit the CDC's website because a lot of the information that I'm gonna be showing you today, I actually got from there. They do change and update those regulations on a regular basis, so you wanna be the best informed as you possibly can. Let me go ahead and show you how to make the three masks that are ready to go today. Our first option, I'm gonna show you how to make a t-shirt. Now I'm using this out of our donation pile for my daughter. Um, this is one of her favorite t-shirts from last year. And we are going to show you how to take a toddler t-shirt and make that into a face mask. Of course, you can use an adult size t-shirt as well. Um, any size will work, but this is pretty handy if you have a child's t-shirt lying around, I'm gonna show you why. First, you're going to fold up the t-shirt, and this is going to be where your face would go. You're gonna use these arms that are pretty handy here to go ahead and tie around the back of your head. The next option that we are going to make is a standard kitchen towel. So this is a tea towel. It's a really uh, lightweight cotton. Uh, this is something that will tie very nicely, but also will keep out uh, the contamination that you need to keep out right now. The first thing that we're going to do is take it from the adjacent corners. So you have this corner here and this corner right here. We are actually going to use those to make your mask by flipping that over, and then utilizing the corners to tie. The third option that we're gonna show you today is a standard size scarf. Now this is a pretty large scarf. You can see there's quite a bit of fabric there. Uh, the main thing that you want to do is to fold it over at least two times. So make sure that you have enough fabric in that scarf to fold it over two times. And you're going to use the ends that we have here to be able to wrap this around to be able to make sure that we can get it tight. That's it. I hope that you were able to find some of these items around your own home so that you can make your own masks to keep you and your family safe during COVID-19.